Hey guys, welcome to Your Adventure Compass. Today we're in Branson, Missouri, and we're checking out Branson's Wild World. There's all kinds of animals inside, lots to see, lots to do. There's an aquarium, and if we're lucky, we'll get to pet some lemurs. So come along with us for this wild adventure. Right outside the door, they have this Branson's Wild World Animal Adventure Park and Aquarium Hummer. It's all decked out. And here we go, we're gonna head in. Wow, look at this, as soon as we enter. Got some giant green winged macaws. It says, do not touch, they bite. <laughs> Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. This one's sleeping over here. All right, guys, here we go. Um, it's the aquarium is where we're gonna start right here. So we're gonna head on in. And right over here, we have a porcupine fish, it says. I think these are uh, what they call puffer fish as well. Hello. There's another one down here as well. It's funny how they look like they're smiling. And check this out, guys. There's a chameleon in here. And look at those colors. Just absolutely incredible. Let's zoom in on them. Wow. Amazing colors. So back over here, there are some birds. I'm not sure what kind of birds these are. I'll see if I can uh, find a sign. But they're, uh, there's one inside that tree log and another one out in front of it. Let's see if we can't find out what these are. All right, so apparently those are swamp hens. I've never uh, never heard of those before, but there's a uh, sign here on the wall telling you that those are swamp hens. All right, sign here says there's a cow nose stingray. And I see a couple of them. Check these guys out. They're super excited over here, hanging out by the glass. There's more. There's sharks and stingrays. There's also dingoes. There's crocodiles and there's lakes. Um, yeah. All right, well, it looks like these guys know the drill. My daughter uh, is going to feed these guys, and uh, they're they are looking forward to some food. They're like, come on, feed us. You're standing up here. We know the drill. Where's the food? It's coming. It's coming, guys. Just chill. Yep, just like that. Put your hand on my glass. straight down to it. There we go. You missed it, but same process. <laughs> this one's hungry. Feed him. <laughs> it's very well themed in here, too. Look, there's pirates. And a treasure chest. I hear some birds making a lot of noise. What do we have over here? It looks like some turtles are supposed to be. Oh, yeah, wow. Look at the size of them. How did I miss that? He is huge. It's over there underneath the waterfall. Let's see if we can get him to come this way, hopefully. And get a better view. Oh yeah, I think we can get a good view of him now. Let's go down below the glass as he comes by. Oh yeah. hanging out in this corner over here. There he 
goes, guys. Coming up for some air over there. Here we go. And right over here, they're going to do some shark feeding. Check this out. Oh, that's cool. You're bracing for it. When they chomp, it is loud. Very cool. They're just uh, hanging out right over here looking for some food. They know. They definitely know there is food in this area. Someone else. You seem familiar. Okay, yeah. I'm here almost every day, so. There's one right there. A couple more coming towards us. Check them out. Alright, we've got another feeding come up. I just put my hand right here, they won't touch me. Put it right down the surface of the water. You guys hear that? See? Not too bad. Ready? There we go. Pretty cool. These are, uh, it says nurse, nurse shark. <laughs> and uh, this big long sign says, it's known as the couch potato of the shark world. <laughs> Rest by day and by night, it creeps over the sandy floors and coral reefs of its shallow water, slurping up little animals along the way. It's a couch potato shark. <laughs> over here, we have a bunch of turtles and uh, looks like some uh, other fish in this pond here. A lot of these turtles are just hanging out on the rocks. We've got, we've got a couple swimming around. There's one down here swimming. And there's also some fish. A lot of them down this way. Let's go down here and look. Oh yeah, look at these koi fish. Very cool. There's a ton of them down here. Right over here, we have a rhino iguana. There's another one back here, much, much larger. Check him out. And over here is a Morlet crocodile. He's uh, sleeping, it looks like. Doesn't look like he's awake right now. I don't know, his eyes do appear to be open. I can't tell. Can't tell, it's a little dark in there. But uh, he's just hanging out over here, just having a lazy crocodile kind of day. And guys, check this gator out. My gosh, he is huge. Absolutely huge. Probably, uh, I'm going to guess somewhere between 12 and 15 feet head to tail. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. He's bigger than me. Believe it or not, he's bigger than me. Got some uh, another one down here in the water. It looks like. Oh yeah. Check him out. Oh, he's eyeing me. I'm not lunch, buddy. <laughs> Over here, another crocodile. This one is a Cuban Nile hybrid. And uh, again, he's snoozing too. He's just uh, relaxing over here, not doing much. So I don't know if you guys can see that. There is a giant frog or toad of some sort. I don't see a uh, sign for this one. He's back there in the corner and he's sleeping, but he's huge. He's uh, probably the size of a good cantaloupe, I would say. Down here below, we have a reticulated python. 
and uh, he it looks like he's just chilling out too, not very active right now. And over here we have a Sudan plated lizard. Now this is an animal I've never heard of before, a Cotamundi? Cotamundi. Okay, let's see if we can find out a little bit about these guys. Often keep their tails straight up, okay. Uh, helps them keep track of each other and vegetation, sure. Uh, agile climbers. Uh, it doesn't really, I was looking to see if it said where they're from. I, I don't know, but there is one. Just to show you guys, he's see if I can get the best view of him. We can zoom in a little bit here. He's way up there, kind of snoozing. Yeah, let's see if I can show you his face over on the other side. Yeah, he's just kind of sleeping up there. I don't know if there's uh, any others. That's the only one I see. There's, uh, unless you're down in the corner in front of the glass somewhere, that's it. All right, now we're gonna head outside because there's a lot of animals out here as well. So let's take a look. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, that looks like uh, capybara. I'm not quite sure. There, It says kangaroos, but uh, that doesn't look quite like a kangaroo to me. And uh, maybe this one, there's another one. Let's see if we can get, maybe if I go over the fence, you might be able to see the one laying in the shade there. All right, so apparently the one animal is a, is a cavy. I've never heard of that either. Um, and yeah, it says it uh, grows up to 80, 18 inches in height, 24 pounds. That looks about the right size. The other one might be a kangaroo. And I'm thinking the one laying there in the shade is probably the kangaroo. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty hot. It's like 90 some degrees, so it totally makes sense. And that, that is their nature, or that is their natural habitat. So kind of makes sense. All right, so these guys here are wolves and uh, they're they're pretty hot. They're just hanging out here in the shade. I can't blame them for doing so. Um, they have a big, long area they can run in. It's kind of uphill, but uh, they can uh, hang out up here, and that's what they're doing in the shade. All right, so if we go down the steps, there's jackals, hyenas, and foxes down this way. Let's head down and see what we can find. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a spotted hyena laying way back in the corner of that cage. Um, I can't get close enough. They have uh, double double fences here. They don't want you sticking your fingers through the fence. Uh, but there is a spotted hyena laying back there on the ground. Not inside the hut, but uh, just outside of that little house they've got, the shelter. And by the way, all these animals have uh, have a little pool they can play in to cool off if they want. So it's uh, it's not like it's not like they're uh, they're not able to cool off if they want to. Guys, laying down here, we've got, I think that's a lion? Oh yeah, there is a lion and he is just kind of hanging out in the shade here in the corner. Again, all of these animals have areas where they can cool off. Um, apparently, he, uh, he doesn't want to be in the water because he's got a pool right over here. And he's got a waterfall right back behind here as well so he's got plenty of places to cool off just not uh, interested in doing that today he'd rather hang out in the shade down there guys I know this is hard to see unfortunately it's very difficult to get a good view through these oh my gosh he came out for me hey buddy and check him out guys that is an arctic fox or so it says I thought there were more white They do look white in the photo. Looks like uh, he's going back to his hut. There is another one which is harder to see back in that uh, little hut over there. Over here is supposed to be a jackal, but I do not see him. He must be deep inside of his little home back there behind the fence. And over here is a cat called the Serval. I have seen these before. They have uh, pretty good size ears. Let's see if we can find them. Well, look at that, guys. There he is. 
It's just kind of chilling out in the shade. Well, like most of these animals, it's hot. It's a hot day. And this is what they do. They're the uh, climate that they're from. Um, if it's a hot climate, this is pretty much what they would do in the wild, too. They'd just lay around and not move around too much. So he looks, he looks okay. He's just chilling out there. Just so you know, I know I've had people comment on things about animals before in the past. These guys look like they're very well taken care of. And if you want to feed any of the animals they have inside, you can do the shark feeding or the stingray feeding like my daughter did. You have to pay additional for that and that money goes towards the animals and taking care of them. And this habitat that they have built for all of these animals is extremely nice. It is very well maintained, nothing dirty about it. I don't see like animal droppings everywhere. It doesn't stink. I mean, no more than a, a zoo would. Um, it looks like they're very well taken care of. Every, all the animals have like a little play area for uh, cooling off with water and whatnot. So don't, don't feel like they're not well taken care of. They are. Well, guys, apparently there's a Siberian tiger up here as well. Let's see if we can't find him. Over here, they have this really cool photo op where you can get your photo taken. And right behind the uh, cutoff Jeep here is a platform for the tiger to hop on. But I don't see the tiger. He's probably... Uh, probably sleeping somewhere unfortunately but uh, yeah that would be kind of cool to be up there and have a tiger right behind you in your Jeep and hanging out over here in that little hut is a mountain lion looks like he's hot and he's just kind of ready to take a nap over at this glass enclosure I do see a uh, tortoise and Let's see if we can't uh, get a better view. May I don't know if it's gonna film through the glass, but if I can get down lower, I see some quills behind that tortoise. Let's see. Maybe if I enhance this a little bit, you can see the quills of the porcupine that is in there with the tortoise. Perched up there towards the peak of the roof, there is a Eurasian eagle owl. And uh, looks like he's uh, just kind of enjoying a little bit of a breeze coming through there. I can see his feathers moving. You guys, check this out. There's a serval over here. Just kind of pacing around. <laughs> he's making it hard to follow him. He's like, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> He's got a nice little play area. He's got a hammock, a little uh, cave he can go inside. Another little hammock down here. Well, guys, it's hot. It's like 97 degrees. I'm heading back inside. Oh, and of course, check this out. As you're heading back inside, they have water at the front desk in case you want to buy some. <laughs> Over here is a small spotted gannet. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But there he is in the back, and he's kind of cool looking. Looks like he's a little bit like a cat. He's got like a scratching post there. Long tail. Oh yeah. Very agile too. And I did not notice at first, but there's another one curled up up on top there on that perch, and he is sleeping. This one's come up to say hi to me. Hello, buddy. How we doing? You can see the markings in his fur. He's quite beautiful. sign over here says common marmoset and uh, these look like kind of like little monkeys I think I can't quite tell I just seen him he went back up there it's up on that perch and his tail's hanging off I can't really see him right now and over here we have a monkey tailed skink and back in here not sure where he's at probably curled up somewhere 
is supposed to be a white-sided rat snake. Oh yes, he's curled up next to and slightly under the bowl. You can only see part of him. Right back there in the center, you can only see a little piece of him. And then there's a rock iguana right here. Over here is the dingo enclosure. And uh, you can go in and pet the dingoes if you want. They're, just, they're kind of like uh, wild dogs. In, uh, they, I believe they're from Australia. So they're, they're not much different than a dog, really. Check out the theming here, guys. This is awesome, like a little Incan tunnel we're gonna go into here. Oh, and I feel some air conditioning. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> oh, wow, check this snake out. A very, very green snake. What is this, a rhino rat snake? Look at that nose. He's got like a pointed nose, that's crazy. Almost like he's got a horn on his nose. And he's a very, very bright, like grass green. Interesting. Well, guys, I looked, and I'm assuming he's probably underneath the bark, but there is a bird eater tarantula in that uh, glass enclosure there. Not sure about this one. These are all different, looks like all different tarantulas. I'm not seeing any of them, honestly. I don't know. I'm, they must be hiding. This says uh, a hissing cockroach. Oh, yeah, there he is. Look, oh, it looks like he's dead. Are they supposed to lay upside down like that? I don't know. <laughs> now here's a bunch down here, though. These are deadhead roaches. Look at those. And right here are Egyptian fruit bats, and uh, they're perched up in the corner right up there. only see that one unless there's some over this way over here these are roughed lemurs lemurs are pretty pretty uh, fun to watch animals they're uh, it's kind of like monkeys they do some cool stuff and of course as soon as I say that they're down on the ground oh he's, he's up on his back legs though let's see what he does <laughs> There's another one down here. Oh yeah, look at them. Check them out. animals. They're fast, it's hard to keep up with them. You guys, check that out. Up there is a sloth <laughs> doing as sloths do, sleeping up there. Yep, that's that's pretty much most of what sloths do, sleep. And uh, he's doing a pretty good job, I would say. guys are fun to watch. And over here in this tank are albino red-eared sliders. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming a species of turtle. I'm not, uh, not familiar with them, first time seeing them. They have uh, like a white skin and uh, reddish ears. Kind of interesting. And over here, this hallway filled with all kinds of different snakes. I'm not going to go through all of these um, 
there's lots of snakes. We've covered those in uh, different zoo exhibits and stuff. But there's a lot of other animals here that I do want to cover. Just know that if you're coming here, you can see a lot of different snakes. I've, uh, I've probably passed about 10 different cages before I came to this area here. So there are a ton. Looks like uh, this one's a cobra. Yeah. Over here is Canadian lynx. <laughs> He's telling them to go to the front. That is so cute. And as I mentioned, these uh, all of these cages are very well cared for. <laughs> He's got himself a uh, chicken thigh there and drumstick. He was just uh, just scolding the cat because he was, I guess he was uh, growling at him. <laughs> Told him to go get his food. He got his food, but it doesn't look like he's going to eat it. He also just cleaned the glass so he could get a better view, which is really nice. And this sign says Southern Tamandua, and uh, they kind of look like sloths, so it's not, it's not surprising that they're sleeping <laughs> way up there on that perch. This tank here has piranha in it. You can see them swimming around. Don't stick your fingers in here. And over in this area, more snakes. These are uh, a lot of venomous snakes over here. They all say venomous. I don't know what type of snakes, but uh, that's what's in here. Here's a, uh, this one doesn't say, either. oh, here's the sign. Vipers and copperheads. There's a copperhead for you guys. Check this guy out. He's, uh, he's pretty massive. You don't want to get bit by one of these. And look how he kind of blends in with the foliage too. That is, uh, that's a bit scary, right? You might just uh, think it's a bunch of leaves, and uh, the next thing you know, you're dead. And over here, look, guys, it's Nemo. There's a clownfish in here. Lots of coral. Beautiful tank. And I don't know what this thing is back here. Uh, if you guys can uh, even see that. It's purple in the front and yellow in the back. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful fish. And again, with the theming over here, right on top of this, where I'm here. What's that in the palm tree? Oh my, it's a snake. Look out. Over in this enclosure here is a reticulated python. And uh, I think it's something, yeah, something about 30 feet long. So he is, he's a big one. That is definitely a big one there. And I uh, know you're not wrong, that noise you're hearing is a press penny machine. My daughter just got herself a press penny over here, and we're going to get one out of the front. They have one at the front as well. Um, I'm going to get a different one from the front, so I'll show you guys when we do that. And over here, there's tiny Cayman crocodiles. These guys are pretty small, probably about uh, maybe two and a half feet. That's the bigger one. I would say the other one, maybe 20... Eh, two feet. Two feet for the smaller one, maybe three feet for the bigger one. I don't know. There's another smaller one over on that area there. There's also a turtle in here. And this tank here is kind of uh, open to, uh, I don't know if it's for petting or, or not. I'm not going to stick my hand in there. It doesn't say anything about don't put your hand in there. But there does appear to be some sort of uh, maybe a spotted shark of some sort in here right there it is at uh, kids touching level oh and they do have uh, gosh I can't remember what these crabs are called horseshoe crabs they have the horseshoe crabs they're kind of buried in the sand right now so this must be a uh, an exhibit where you can touch well guys I was hoping to see the screaming hairy armadillo but he's apparently up there and he's gone to bed can't really see inside there so I'm assuming that uh, he is 
out cold. All right, so we came in earlier, we saw some birds, and these guys are perched over here. It says wild wings. These are the ones making all the noise when we were walking around earlier. And we heard them when they were feeding the sharks. They're pretty loud. All right, guys, there are some fish over here called Dr. Fish or Gera Rufa. And these are the fish that you've probably seen. Uh, they, they have places where you can put your feet in the water and the fish will eat the dead skin off your, uh, off your feet or whatever. Um, it says you can put one finger in, so let's, let's give this a shot and see how this goes. Hopefully they're not lying. Hopefully these aren't piranha. They're all like swarming my finger now. This is going to be, oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, that's a little weird. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's kind of weird. <laughs> it does not hurt. It's kind of ticklish. It's a little weird, but uh, yeah, that's, that's those fish. Well, guys, one thing you can never expect with animals is for them to be out and about. And unfortunately, the otters are hibernating today. They're in their little houses out there. Um, unfortunate, because I was hoping to feed some of them. They do have an area over here where you can feed the otters. Got a little, little plug here, and the guys, little otters swim up here, and they, they stand up here, and then they, uh, they reach out and grab the food out of the hole. Um, it's kind of kind of cute and fun to do. Unfortunately, they're they're not out today. And there's a sign here. Okay, so apparently Gatsby and Lila had babies on July 16th, and they are taking a break and taking care of their newborn litter. Check out this iguana, guys. He's huge. That's a big iguana. Oh yeah. Well, it looks like we've entered the dinosaur area because look at this, guys. Oh no, he's kind of looking at me like he's hungry. All right, we better get out of here. Over here are garden eels. Check these guys out. They're like, they look like seaweed the way they're just sticking out of the sand like that. There's another one over here. So weird. And this guy here, perched on top of the Triceratops skull, is a Wabigong shark. <laughs> what a name, a Wabigong shark. And over here, check this out, one of the, the coolest sea creatures, in my opinion, is the seahorse. Uh, it's almost as mythical to me as a uh, unicorn. Such amazing little sea creatures. There's another one over on the other side. He's a little bit bigger. Let's see if we can get him as well. Down at the bottom of this tank is a moray eel. That's right, they have an eel here on display, hanging out at the bottom of that tank. Now, besides the dinosaur skeleton, there's a lot of big, big fish in here. There's a sturgeon, and oh my gosh, they have an alligator gar in here. Let's see if we can find that. At least it says there's one. I spotted him back off towards the center of this tank. You can see him, a very long fish. He has a very long mouth, too. And they eat in a similar fashion to an alligator. Uh-oh. More dinosaurs, guys. This, one, this one's moving. Check him out. He's scary. They also have some real fossils here from dinosaurs and other such creatures. 
Check out this tooth. Wow. Wow, guys, look at this. This is this is incredible. So these are upside down jellyfish. I have uh, I've never seen these before. Kind of interesting looking. Over here, this particular area has poison dart frogs. I was looking to see if I could find any. Um, they're probably pretty well hidden or uh, buried underneath all the foliage here. I'm not really seeing any. Oh yes, there's one. Right there. Well guys, they have an area here that has ring-tailed lemurs. And that area is right here. Looks like a kid's playscape, but it's not. It's for the lemurs. And uh, they're kind of occasionally playing and running around. They're taking a break, I think, right now. Um, we have to wait another 10, 15 minutes, and then we can head on in here and hang out with the lemurs. And I'm kind of excited about that. And uh, we get to feed them and all that good stuff. We are in here with the lemurs, and uh, they're fighting to get over here, so let's see. Yeah, to... Apparently I sat in the wrong seat. <laughs> Hi! How are you? Oh, oh, you're looking for something, aren't you? Yeah? <laughs> Here, hang on, hang on. Let's get you one. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> Would you like some too? Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, gotta let go of my cup. <laughs> Real from Michigan. Right on. Oh. I've been working here since the uh, end of May. Okay. Do you have a degree? Oh, okay. No. I wasn't sure. No, this one's very friendly. Like you're started, you're a good lemur. I like you. Yeah. Would you like some more? Yes? You're being patient, so I will give you some more. There you go. Yeah. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Hmm? No? Yeah. Thank you for not trying to grab the cup. I'll give you more. There you go. Okay, we've got another one coming up. Let's give some to your friend, okay? Can I give some to your friend? Can I give some to your friend? Yeah? Oh, 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 Want some food? Uh oh, don't fight. <laughs> I got you, boy. Because we have more food. I don't even have that much. Go to him. Go to him. 
There's a little piece there. Okay, can I pet you? Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, how you doing? That's a camera. Oh, there's the little one. If you run out of food, I can take the cups from you. Alright. <laughs> That's a camera. Just came up, so I'll give you about another 30 seconds or so. Take a picture of them. Um, hurry up before they all leave because they know their food's gone. That was a one-of-a-kind experience. I've, I've never had a lemur on me before. They're they're really cute. They're like little monkeys, kind of with tails. Um, very smart, very curious. The, uh, a couple of them really wanted to see what the camera was about. It's kind of fun. Uh, if you guys are down here in Branson, this is a must-do. You got to stop at Branson's Wild World, and you've got to go and feed the lemurs and. There's so much to do at this particular location. They have uh, dingoes, you can go in and pet the dingoes, you can feed the sharks, you can feed the stingrays. Those things are extra in addition to your entry. There's a lot of fun stuff to do here. Definitely worth checking out. All right guys, we're gonna do the press penny machine and uh, this one's kind of unique. There's an octopus here and it's inside this uh, round little object of sorts with the uh, rope, nautical rope and everything. You get to select from one of three different designs there. The hard thing is, is seeing what design you selected right down there, it was very difficult to see, but I think we are getting the middle one, and I'm fine with that, so let's uh, put our money in. It's uh, at an angle on the side, which is really kind of interesting. Two quarters, one penny, push it in, and then we just need to turn the machine. turtle. That's not even an option. <laughs> yep, says Wild World, and it's got a turtle on it. I don't even see that it's an option, but that's okay, because we did see some turtles while we were here. All right. So guys, Branson's Wild World, a ton of fun, so many different things to see, lots of animals. Um, come on a cooler day, maybe come early in the morning. I'm not sure what it takes to see some of those animals. Really would have liked to see the armadillo. Um, I understand the otters just had uh, some babies, so they're busy uh, being parents, and that's, that's perfectly understandable. So guys, if you're in the Branson area, definitely stop by and check out Wild World. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and click on that compass to get subscribed to future content just like this. And remember, sometimes adventure is a little further away.